everybody. Welcome to our Monday Facebook Live. I'm Sandy Sandler and I'm the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker. And I hope that everybody had an amazing weekend. Today we're going to do some really super simple DIY dollar store Mother's Day gift ideas. Now I'm going to start with a hair bow just because I had a request for it, but then we're going to get into more Mother's Day. So if your mom likes hair bows, then definitely this is going to be the project for her. So let me just get here. I'm going to get it so that I can see you guys. And I'm going to take, I don't need that much wire. I'm going to take some Bodabra bow wire and I'm going to just fold it in half and we're going to make this using the mini Bodabra. So I'm going to fold my wire in half, lay it into my mini and just tuck the ends underneath. Now I'm going to take some of our, from our Bodabra spring ribbon kit. I've got 14 and a half. This is a two and a half inch wide ribbon. I've just cut an angle at the ends and I've got 14 and a half inches. So I'm going to fold it in half, take the right side of my ribbon and put that down. I mean, put the right side up and put that into my Bodabra. Now, please, you guys, oh my gosh, Edna and Terry and Jeannie and Marlene. Oh, you, Edna, thank you so much for sharing. And thank you also for sharing on the preview. Now, this is our Bodabra ribbon that comes in our ultimate hair bow kit. It's beautiful ribbon. So now I've got, let's see, it's a one and a half inch ribbon and about 14 inches. So I'm just going to fold it in half and just put that down into my Bodabra. Hi, Gail. I hope you had a great weekend. So this is nine inches and um, I'm gonna just fold that in half. It's a two and a half inch wide ribbon. Scrunch that down. Then I'm gonna take um, this ribbon, which is also part of our ribbon cap, and I'm gonna put the right side, oh, I better tell you how much I've got here, 13 inches. So I'm gonna take the right side of the ribbon, put that down, just loop it back, and put the right side of the ribbon down again. Hi, Scarlett, I'm so glad you joined me and put that down in here. And then I'm just gonna take this rib up. I've got, let's see, eight inches of this and I'm just gonna scrunch this down into my mini Bodabra. So let's scrunch that in here. And you'll see I dovetailed because I kind of like the look of the dovetail um, on the finished look. Then I have these cute little corker ribbons and I cheat on my corker ribbon because I don't want to have to take a dowel. And so I actually purchase it. And I believe we have a link that we'll put up for you. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put the link um, in the comment section below. So now I'm going to just fold this over, lay this one in. Oh, and that's another really cool thing um, is we're have, we have a special offer um, for Mother's Day, which is the same offer as last week, and I'll show that to you in a minute. But also our spring kit, so now I'm going to just take my wire, pull this through. Our spring ribbon kit is actually 25% right now, and we'll show that to you. And then I'm also going to include a little bouquet of these roses along with the spring ribbon kit, and that's 25% off. So I'll put those back up there separate my ends, bring it around to the back. So this is a great gift also if um, you have a mom who likes um, hair bows, she would love this ponytail holder. And, or you could take also a clip that is, um, I buy these also pre um, grow grain, so it's, they're just so much neater that way. And then you could just glue that on here too. Um, here's my ponytail holder because I just have that there and I don't have the glue, but it'd be really easy to just glue this onto a clip. So now I'm going to just cut the ends. And you have this adorable little ponytail holder. So I hope you guys like this. And scrunch this out. And there you go. So how super, super simple is that? So now we're going to get into some other Mother's Day gifts that I think you guys are going to really like. So I'm going to put this aside. And one of the things I do when I go to the dollar store 
is whenever they have scars, I kind of collect them. So that way I have them sitting around if I need a really quick gift. So I'm gonna do two gifts coming up that show you this one and the next one, a great way to give a scarf as a gift. So what I'm gonna do is start with my ribbon, um, which is right here. And we're just gonna make a little bow here. So actually, do I have, I think, um, I forgot to put the ribbon for this in there. So we're just gonna, we're gonna makeshift it. So I'm gonna take my bow dabber bow wire and fold it in half. And I'm not gonna tie this on. I know I'm missing something and I'm trying to figure out what I did with it. No way, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna improvise here. So I'm gonna take my bow dabber bow wire, fold it in half and just tuck the ends underneath my mini bow dabber. Then I'm gonna take um, this ribbon here and I'm just gonna fold it back over. And again, this is some of our ribbon from our little um, spring ribbon kit. Scrunch this in. Hi, Tammy. Oh, thank you, Yannette, for saying you love the colors. And Tammy, thank you as well. So I'm gonna scrunch this down in here. Now these are just extras. Now we do have these um, little blue in our store. And then I'm gonna take, I'm actually gonna put this in first. These are our ribbons that you will get free with the spring ribbon this week. And then now I'm gonna take this, scrunch everything down, and then I'm gonna take my bow dabber bow wire, pull this through the center, pull it really tight while it's still in the bow dabber. Now I could have put the scarf in the bow dabber as well, but the reason I didn't is because I know that people like to save bows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a knot here and tie a double knot. And then that way, I will take, now I have an infinity scarf here. So I'm gonna actually just make these like it's my tail. And I'm just gonna tie my um, bow onto my scarf. And now I'm just gonna tie a bow because I don't want, um, I want whoever's buying this to be able to, and now I'll shape this, to be able to save this really pretty bow and bring these through here. So isn't this just like super, super simple? Now I'm gonna take the ends of my, um, of my wired here and just bring the stems around and just, there you go. So you have this really, really super simple, easy, easy to make gift that is just basically a dollar store gift. So it's real inexpensive, but it shows a lot of thought and love. So now I'm gonna put this one, do you guys like it? So now I'm gonna put this aside. Oh, and you guys, I oh my gosh, how could I totally forget? We're gonna give our scrunchie, a roll of scrunchie ribbon away today to a lucky winner. So make sure you say I wanna win. And also please share, you guys have been so amazing about sharing over the past couple weeks. And I just, you're my marketing team and I really appreciate it. So now I'm gonna put this aside. So that would be our first gift. And then we're gonna do our next gift, which again is a little dollar store gift. Take everything out that I need for this one. And this one we're gonna have to make in the big Bodabra. Um, and so now I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, pull it out, and fold this over. So, Tamara, thank you. Now, this one I think you guys are gonna like also. Gail, thank you so much. And you're gonna love it because now I'm using Gail's purple for purple hues in me. So, I think I've got enough. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, lay it into the Bodabra, and just tuck the ends underneath. I think, you know what? I think I need more wire because I also have to tie it on here. So, let's do this again. So, we'll tuck that, bring that here pull it down into my bodabra and now I'm going to take um, my ribbon here and again I'm going to attach it to the scarf after because I don't want it to fall apart so all I'm going to do is fold my ribbon in half and I've got almost forgot to tell you how much ribbon I have um, let's see I've got um, 
34 inches, and this again is our two and a half inch wide bow dabber ribbon from our spring ribbon kit. So now we're gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna put the right side down, bring this around, and we're going to um, make a loop here and put that there, and then just bring this over. Then I'm gonna make an X, and I'm gonna take, again, I'm gonna take the right side of my ribbon and put that downward into my bodabra. Then I'm gonna take the lower ribbon and the lower cert loop and scrunch that into my bodabra and then scrunch that. And this is how you would make a boutique bow. And then here I've got um, seven inches of our one, and I think this is a one and a half inch wide ribbon that has the beautiful roses on it. So I'm just gonna take the right side, put that down, bring it back around here, take the right side, put that down, and then scrunch the whole thing down into my bodabra. And then I have my bouquet that I'm just gonna lay into my bodabra here. And now I'm gonna take this out, pull it through here, pull it tight while it's still in my bodabra, pull it out, oops, looks like I lost a flower. Separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and I'm gonna tie a knot, and tie another knot, and then again, this is so that we can save the bow. Now, what I've got here, when I, I also got at the dollar store, I, I think it was actually two for a dollar, these cute little bags. And I always save when I travel the little shampoos that I think look really pretty. So I'm just gonna, I have like the soap, the shampoo, hand wash, shampoo. So this is just a really, really super simple gift to make. And then now what I'll do is just kind of put my um, my scarf in here to kind of cover everything in my in my little bag. Just basically just wrap everything in there. So the scarf again becomes some of part of the wrapping, and then I'm gonna take my bow and just tie this onto my bag and just tie it there. And then again, I'm just gonna tie a loop and clip the ends. Now, these are really, this is a really nice little gift to give to somebody, to a guest that's staying at your home. I think it's perfect for Mother's Day, but it's such a super, super simple gift to make. Oh, Jeannie, thank you so much. And Bonnie, thank you for watching and sharing. Thanks, I love, I'm glad you guys love this idea because it's just is super, super inexpensive, but a really nice, thoughtful gift. And easy, I mean, super easy to make. So now I'm gonna put this one aside, and we are going to go to our next gift, which is, I'm gonna actually be using our Spodabra scrunchie ribbon for this gift. We're gonna make a little wreath, and I bought the wreath again at a dollar store. So I have this cute little wreath, but I wanted to cover the wreath. So the wreath is, uh, I believe it's a six, it's six inches in diameter approximately. And I have um, my Bodabra scrunchie ribbon and I've got about a yard and nine inches. So I'm gonna just start, I'm gonna put a little, um, get a little glue dot and I'm just gonna put this on the back of my wreath and I'm gonna start with my um, Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. And don't forget to say you want to win because we're gonna be giving this away. So I'm just gonna be a roll of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon we're gonna give away today. And you get to choose the color, whether you want gold or silver. And we're just gonna wrap this around. Or red, because we also have the red. And separate the ends. And I'm just going to bring this around. So you guys, let me know if you've never watched before, how you heard about us. And if this is your first time watching, please say hi and let me know. Um, and yeah, and I, I hear um, Yannette says it's like beautiful and inexpensive. Exactly. And that's what I love. I love to be able to make something that's really pretty, but very, very inexpensive. So now I'm gonna just bring this back around here. 
And again, I'm gonna just take another glue um, dot glue dot here and put that there and then just kind of put it here. And I'm gonna set this aside. And again, I just think this is a really super, super simple gift that you can give to mom. So now um, I'm gonna take my Bow Dabra Bow Wire. Actually, I probably should use the gold wire if I can figure out where I put it. Well, we're using the silver because I don't, oh, here it is, okay. So you guys know this is all live, so sometimes things get messed up, but so I'll take my Bow Dabra Bow Wire. But I wanted to also show you guys some easy ways if you just have the mini. I'm gonna fold it in half and lay this down into my mini Bow Dabra. Then I've got this piece, it's, this is actually one of our Bodabra ribbons. It's a splattered, I call it gold and silver splatter paint. And it's two and a half inches wired, wide and I've got seven and a half inches and I've dovetailed the ends. And if you're new to dovetailing or to making bows, to dovetail you fold this in half and you just cut it at an angle and that gives you your really pretty tails. So I'm just gonna fold it in half find my center and just scrunch that down into my Bodabra. And then I have some of our Bodabra um, mesh and I'm just, I've got, um, it's, let's see, this is five inches long and this is a, actually a five inch wide ribbon. This is what we call our Bodabra angel mesh ribbon. And I just, I just love it. So I'm gonna scrunch this down here, lay that down and then I'm taking some of the rhinestones and basically we just took our roll of rhinestone and we just cut it in half. And so, and then I have four inches of each of these. So I'm just gonna lay this down into my Bodabra, take this one and lay it into my mini. And then I have, again, the gold splatter and we've got, let's see, seven and a half inches. I'm just gonna fold the end there and scrunch this right down into the middle. And then I'm gonna finish with my flowers. And let's take um, my wand, scrunch. Oh, Jeannie, thank you. I'm glad you love the gold. You've been making beehives. What are beehives? So now I'm gonna bring this through here, pull this through. Jeannie said she's been making beehives, but I have no idea what, there's gotta be a craft term to that because I'm sure she's not making hives for bees, or maybe she is. Okay, separate the ends, bring it around to the back, gonna tie a knot. Shirley, thank you, I love the bling too. Um, and so now I'm gonna just, let's just bring these around here. I'm gonna take, again, take the stems, wrap them around to the back so they're hidden. And I'm gonna double knot this again. And then I'm gonna come over to my wreath and I'm just gonna bring this around, tie it. And here I am gonna knot it and clip the ends. And again, you have another a really, really super, super simple whoops, Mother's Day gas. Or gift for anybody. It's just really, really easy to make these. So isn't that fun and super simple? Hi, Kelly. Hi, Edna. So there you go. And Edna, thank you. Edna won one of our one of our giveaways, and she's just saying that she's playing with the blue and silver ribbon. So now I'm gonna put, or maybe blue and gold. I forget. So now I'm gonna just put this aside. And. Um, let's see, how are we doing on time? Oh, cool, okay. So now, actually first, let's make this cute little, again, another dollar store idea. I mean, moms always love picture frames and pictures of us. So do grandmas, especially pictures of the grandkids. So I just have this little, it's like a little frame, and we just took, um, little stickies and put mom on there and some flowers and most of the rest of it's going to be covered with the bow so I really like the natural look. So I'm going to put this aside and now I'm going to take um, some of our, these are some of our ribbons and this one is um, 
five and a half inches. These petals are five and a half inches long. And actually, Jacob, can we show everybody this kit here? So this is what you get in the spring ribbon kit is all um, eight of these ribbons that are all mix and match. And then this week, I'm actually going to include for free these the little bunch of 12 ribbon roses and they come apart so you can use them individually. So now I'm going to take my mini Bodabra again, take some Bodabra bow wire, fold it in half. And oh, Katrina, thank you for purchasing the Bodabra. I'm so glad you love it. So now I'm going to fold this in half and lay this down into my mini Bodabra. And then I'm going to take my first strip. And again, I've, I've, these I've made points on because we're making these like petals for a flower. And I'm just gonna scrunch that down, do the same thing. And these are about five inches long, I think I said. And for the flowers, I really like to use um, wired ribbon because I find it's easier to shape. Then this is, this is from our um, designer ribbon kit, which we have six rolls. And it's one and a half inches wide by four inches. And I'm just going to lay these down in here and they're all about the same, but we curved the ends and left them frayed so they're kind of have that frayed flower look. And put this in here. And take another one, put that in here. And please, you guys, I would love it if you would share with your friends. If you're watching the replay, please definitely let me know if you're watching the replay because um, I would love to say hi. So now we're gonna just pull that through, pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra. And I have, a, I have this flower I'm gonna use. The reason I didn't just put it in is because it keeps falling apart on me, so I'm gonna glue it in the center. So we're gonna bring this around to the back and tie a knot. And this one I'm gonna double knot. And I'm gonna clip this on. Now, today I'm using um, glue dots, or zots actually. And I, if you wanna make sure it's really permanent, you can use a hot glue gun or something like liquid silk. Um, and then it'll also, now I'm just gonna kinda of pull all my petals apart. And this, I just think this makes such a pretty bow. And then right in the middle, I'm gonna put my little rose for mom. And I'm gonna take this here and put a little glue dot there. And now just place that on there. And of course, we can't forget to put the picture in, but isn't that like a super, super simple, but, and very inexpensive gift. Shirley, thank you. I'm so happy you like the colors. Oh my gosh, Yannette, four Bodabras, two regular and two minis. That's so sweet, thank you. And oh, talking about the minis and gifts, I'm gonna show you one more thing, and then we're gonna make one more really cool mom's, if your mom's a gardener, we have a really cool gardening gift for mom. So we'll put this aside, and I'm just gonna show you, we have the Ultimate Hair Bow Kit is still on sale until Mother's Day. Whoops, and that comes with, this is what you get in your box. Um, you'll get eight of these beautiful ribbons, and I believe they are one and a half inches by um, three yards. So that's a lot of ribbon. And so you get all of these ribbons, and you're getting, I think we're getting 15% off, and the mini Bodabra, mini bow hair bow tool and ruler, plus the D CD, and the bow wire, and then a hundred yards of Bodabra bow wire. So that's like a really awesome gift. It's discounted, and we even do free shipping on it. So, um, and I hope you guys are okay with me doing my little sales pitches during the live real quickly because it's what helps pay for the lives. So now I'm gonna put that aside. And the other thing that I did wanna show you is the mini Bodabra hair bow tool and ruler comes with the CD and oh goodness <laughs> and the reason we include a CD and not a book is because this is the CD all printed out you you will link to a downloadable software and it has step-by-step -step 
picture instructions, like even remember to get the scissors. When I say step by step, and it's you can click, like all of these are clickable links. We have pet bows, so there's literally 70 different hair bows in this book and pet bows and all different kinds of things. So I just wanted to share that with you because um, it really is a tremendous value. Uh, so let me put that down here. And now let's get to our Mother's Day watering can. So we have this really cute watering can. It says Mom's Garden. And we'll just put that aside. I'm gonna take my regular Bodabra. And you know, you can paint on there whatever you want. Use stencils if you don't feel good, you know, painting. So it makes it pretty easy. And now I'm gonna take my Bodabra. Oh, thank you, Yannette. She says she's gonna buy her ruler. So um, now I'm gonna fold this in half, lay this down into my Bodabra, tuck the ends underneath. And then we have um, these ribbons here. And these are all cut the same length. So they are one and a half inches wide and 17 inches long. And I'm just going to lay in, I'm gonna lay my green in first, it's folded in half. And we just did cut an angle at the end of the ribbon. And then I'll take my yellow and lay that in. And then this really funky flower ribbon. And these ribbons, um, one of them is wired and the other two are not wired. So just in case you're curious, so then I have another set of tails that I'm gonna lay in. And these are, let's see, 12 inches long. So I'm gonna do the same as last time. I'm just gonna lay these in here and lay this in there. And then I have, um, let's see, I have let's, about 33 inches of these three ribbons that we're gonna mix together. And I'm just gonna layer them and I'm gonna twist and scrunch it down. Um, you know, Tambra, Walmart doesn't carry the Bodabras right now, but you can buy the wire either in our store or you can buy it also at Michael's. So if you have a Michael's near you, so twist it, lay that down. And, but you can also buy it at bodabra.com and we have the 100 yard rolls, which is nice. So that down and I'm just folding. And what I'm doing is folding and putting, this is what's nice with Bodabra is you can actually layer the ribbons together, twist them, and then I'm gonna just bring these here so they stay the way I want them, fold them back and twist it. And then I'm just gonna finish with one more loop. So this loop I'm not gonna twist. And then I have these short strips of, um, they're about six inches. And I'm just gonna layer these in because these are just gonna kind of uh, become the center of my bow. And we'll just fold them up and lay these in here. And when you see how I shape, you'll see why I did what I did. And lay, whoops, lay this in. So you can see also that I'm not really caring about how much I put in. Then I'm gonna take my Bodabra wand and scrunch this down into my Bodabra. Take my ribbon, I mean my wire, bring it up. I'm gonna pull this through the slip knot. Pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Pull it, it's the thing. Separate the ends, bring it around to the back. Tambra, thank you, I do. I think, Tambra, I really appreciate your ordering from us. Tambra just said she's gonna order the Bodabra bow wire from our Bodabra store. Um, it, it really is helpful for us too because the money that we make from the store, which isn't a lot because you can buy it at Walmart, I mean Michaels and everywhere. And so now I'm gonna shape this and I'm just gonna kind of bring these around. So they just sort of flop in the center. And then I'm gonna kind of just fan out my bow in the back and fan this out and fan these out just so that they give a little bit of a circle and fan them all out there. I think I'm missing, oh, there we go. 
this one and this one. And then all I do is take my Mother's Day watering dollar store gift and the bow I'll just tie right on it. Um, but again, I'm gonna tie it with a bow as how I'm tying it. Bonnie is the winner. Congratulations, Bonnie. So now you just have to private message Bodabra and um, let us know. And then I'm probably just to help a little bit with this because this is a very slippery watering can. I'm just gonna stick a glue dot on there to help hold it. So it's not just such a super simple and easy Mother's Day gift. So I hope that everybody has enjoyed the quick tips for quick gift ideas or Mother's Day gift ideas. And next week we are gonna, I believe we're doing some party ideas. So it'll be really fun for your spring and summer parties. So I'll look forward to seeing you next week, same time, Mondays right here at facebook.com backslash Bodabra at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. And also, before I forget, if you guys could follow us here on Bodabra, I would really appreciate it. See you next week. Bye.